we present our work Perceive with Confidence, Statistical Safety Assurances for Navigation with Learning-Based Perception. Modern learned perception systems are very powerful. As you can see in this video, Tesla Autopilot is able to autonomously navigate in a suburban setting and detect different objects in the environment like cars, pedestrians, and bicyclists. However, these systems are still not reliable. As you can see here in this video, Tesla Autopilot is not able to safely navigate around pedestrians uh, due to perception failures. Similarly, Cruise had to recall all its autonomous cars late last year after a car hit and dragged a pedestrian due to a failure of its collision detection system. In this work, we ask the question, how can we guarantee the reliability of the outputs of learned perception systems in new environments? In order to get reliable outputs, we aim to quantify the uncertainty of these systems. Consider a modular perception and planning framework where given a task, the robot has a perception module to interpret the environment and a planning module to make decisions based on the perceptual outputs. Often, there are errors in the perception module outputs. For instance, consider this example of a quadruped navigating in an indoor environment, making observations with a camera and using an off-the-shelf perception module to predict locations of objects. The red box predictions from the perception model do not actually enclose the blue box true locations of the object. This error in the perception leads to downstream failures even if we use a safe planner. In this work, we will quantify the uncertainty of black box learned perception systems. When we try to quantify the uncertainty of learned perception systems, there is usually only a heuristic, if any, notion of uncertainty. Furthermore, the environments we deploy these models in may be different from the training dataset for robotic applications. The closed loop behavior of autonomous systems may lead to a distribution of observations that is different from the training or calibration distribution. In other words, a planner that uses an uncertainty-aware perception system will always visit a different distribution of states than the distribution of states visited by the planner when it is used to perform said uncertainty quantification. We call this challenge the closed-loop distribution shift. The goal in this work is to calibrate any off-the-shelf perception model such that the new calibrated perception model is statistically guaranteed to be correct in previously unseen environments, and hence when it is used in conjunction with a safe planner, we get an end-to-end -end statistical assurance on safety. To obtain this assurance, we first calibrate the perception model error of the pre-trained system by collecting the perception errors of the system in many different environments and using conformal prediction. To apply conformal prediction, we first compute the perception error from a location as the minimum inflation delta Q needed to be applied to the union of the bounding box predictions from the off-the-shelf perception models given by B, so that the true object locations given by A are completely enclosed by the inflated predictions. The non-conformity score used for conformal prediction considers the worst perception errors across all states in every IID calibration environment. This gives us a bound on the minimum inflation required in new environments from every state to ensure statistical correctness of the perceptual output. We call this inflation to the perception system the calibrated perception system. The offline calibration procedure gives us a guarantee on the correctness of the calibrated perception system in any new environment sampled IID from the calibration distribution. This means that the calibrated perception system, which now includes the inflation obtained using conformal prediction, will cover the true locations of objects in the environment with probability 1 minus epsilon when used online. Next, we use the calibrated perceptual outputs online in conjunction with a safe planner. Because the calibrated perception system is guaranteed to be correct when it is used with a safe planner, we ensure end-to-end -end safety.
A natural question that arises from the calibration procedure is whether we can make the calibrated perception system less conservative. The answer is yes. Because the calibrated perception system is correct from every state in the environment, the intersection of the perception predictions also have to be correct from every state. For instance, in this figure, the light red boxes show the calibrated perception outputs, and the dark red boxes are the true locations of the object. At the first time step, the free space is small and considers the limited field of view of the robot as well as the possible occlusions by inflated outputs. The new predictions from the calibrated perception system at the next time step must also be correct, and hence the intersection of the predictions from both the previous and the current time steps must also be correct. Over time, this filter over the calibrated perception outputs makes the predictions less and less conservative. As you can see in this case, the outputs of the calibrated perception system eventually converge to the true locations of the object. This method can be used in conjunction with any sampling-based safe planner. We use fast marching tree star. We account for the dynamics that are computed through system identification, and we account for states from which collisions will happen regardless of the control input applied. This is called the inevitable collision set. When we do not account for the worst case perception error across all states during offline calibration and instead consider the average perception error as a baseline, the perception predictions when calibrated using conformal prediction still misdetect the obstacle locations due to closed loop distribution shifts. This leads to downstream and safe decisions because the occupied space is incorrectly classified as free due to misdetections and the path taken by a safe planner still leads to collisions. Instead, when we use our method perceived with confidence or PWC, although the calibrated output is more conservative, it is always correct from every state. When used in conjunction with our non-deterministic filter and a safe planner, the system is able to navigate safely around obstacles without being overly conservative. This is validated through experiments on hardware and in simulation. As you can see from this plot, PWC is actually able to bound the rate of misdetections as defined by the user. On the other hand, the baseline that is calibrated using conformal prediction but using the average perception error still violates the bounds on misdetection of objects in 100 environments. We also compared the performance of the end-to-end -end planning system across a couple of baselines. We used the raw output from 3D ETR, a pre-trained object detection module, as one baseline. We also fine-tuned 3D ETR to the type of environments we are interested in. The third baseline is using conformal prediction, but without the robust perception error. With a user-defined safety rate of 85%, PWC is guaranteed to be safe in new environments with the lowest collision rate across baselines. PWC is also the only method to have a rate of misdetections lower than that specified by the user. When tested on the unit tree Govan quadruped across 30 different environments, PWC also remains safe with low misdetections and high success rate. When the misdetected obstacles are not on the path to the goal, both PWC and the baseline are successful. However, in cases when the path to the goal is not completely free, baselines fail due to misdetection of obstacles while PWC still performs safely. PWC is also able to account for occluded obstacles and goal and navigate safely.
For more details about our work, please check out our paper. Thank you.